Ozzy, 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 Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today we're going to talk about a really cool sport, one of my personal favourites, and that's Aussie Rules or AFL. But first, we're going to talk about the different skills and rules that you need to know to play footy. Then we're going to go down the park and even have a kick together. And then, once we're all a bit tired, why don't we sit back and enjoy a good book about AFL. So come on, let's get stuck into it. Now Aussie Rules is played mostly in Australia by boys and girls and men and women of all different ages. And it's played with a ball like this. It's a bit of a funny shape. Do you know what shape that is? That's right, it's an oval shape. Good job kids. Now it's played outside on a field like that. Do you know what shape that is? That's right, that's an oval too. Good job, kids. Now in AFL, we're not allowed to throw the ball like we are in other sports. We have to do what's called a hand pass or a handball. That's when you take the ball, put it on your hand like that, you take your fist like that, and you hit the ball off your hand through the air to your friend. Or you can do what's called a kick. And if you catch a kick, it's called a mark. And if you take a mark in AFL, you get a free kick. And if you're standing in front of these things, that's the goals, and you kick it through the middle posts, that's six points. That's five, six points. But if you miss and you kick it either side of the big posts, you get one point. You still get a point. How cool is that? Now the professional AFL teams in the men and women's play with 18 players on each team. That's 10 plus eight. 18 from each team. That's a lot of players on the field at once, isn't it? Now some of the most popular players in AFL are Taylor Harris, Daisy Pierce, Buddy Franklin, Gary Ablett Jr. And my personal favorite, Nick Natanui. He plays for the mighty West Coast Eagles. Go the Eagles! Now when you're just starting to play AFL as a little boy or girl, you play Auskick, and that's from when you're four right through to when you're eight. And you play with a ball like this, which is a little bit smaller than the big ones that the big men and women play with. But we all wear boots because they have protective leather on the top and studs on the bottom so you don't slip over on the grass. Now the best thing about learning to play AFL is getting down to the park and having a kick with your mates and learning how to handball and trying to kick those goals. So who wants to come down the park and have a kick with Aussie? Come on kids, let's go. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. What a beautiful day. So we've come down to the local park. There's lots of other people enjoying themselves and enjoying the weather. We've brought our footy. I'm gonna learn those skills that it takes to play AFL. Who can remember the skills? That's right, there's handballing. What else would you need to do to play footy? Kicking, very good. And there's one more, third one that's really important. Marking, very good. So if I can just get a footy, Handballing first, so we're going to take our hand, put it like a pancake, then put our football on top like a big dollop of ice cream. Then we're going to take our other hand like we're holding an ice cream cone. And then we want to take our cone and smush it into the ice cream, which is just hitting the ball on the end there, just like this. And that's how you handball, but you always got to make sure you keep that thumb on the outside of the cone. If you put it inside there, ooh, ouch, no good. All right, the next one is kicking. Okay, so kicking, you can kick right foot or left foot, depending which one you feel more comfortable with. You wanna start with your hands on either side of the footy, just like that. We wanna lean over the footy, we wanna step forward with our opposite foot, and then drop the ball onto the kicking foot and swing through just like that. So that's the right foot, left foot would be right foot forward, drop it and swing through the left foot. 
Aussie kicks with his right foot. So I'm gonna show you how that goes. Just like this. And that's how you kick the footy. And the third one was marking. That's right, in AFL, that's when you catch it, but we call it a mark. So if you just get that footy, all right. That's a mark, and you take it out in front like that. And that's what you learn when you're a little, get a little bit older. But when you're just learning and you're a little, little kid, we want to practice what's called a chest mark. That's when the ball, when the ball comes in, and you go like that, you get your chest behind it, you hug it in really close and give it a big bear hug so that it doesn't spill out the side. So that's the three basic skills of playing AFL. So who wants to come and have a bit of kick to kick with Aussie? Let's go. Oh, nice kick, Aussie! Oh, beauty, Aussie! Okay, so what you want to do when the ball comes in, you want to make sure you give it a big bear hug. Here it comes. Here's the ball. Oh, yeah, big bear hug. No one's going to get that one. That's not going to spill out. Get your body behind it. And always keep your eyes on the ball. That way you won't drop it. Yes, Aussie. Yes, Aussie. Oh, all right. So we've taken a mark and we're right in front of goals. So does anyone remember the scoring in AFL? If we kick it through the middle post, how many points do you get? It's six points, isn't it? And if you get it on either side of the big post, it's worth how many points? One point, that's right. So we want to try and kick it through the middle and get six points, right? But remember, on game day, there's lots of other players and teammates on the field, so we want to try and kick it through the goals on the full. So let's line up. We're going to do the kick that we've been learning, which is a drop punt. So remember, head over the footy, take a few steps, kick through the ball, and that's a goal for Aussie. That's six points. But that was a bit easy, wasn't it? Because I'm standing right in front. What happens if we get the ball and we're like on either side? Let's go and see if we can kick a goal from the side. Come on. All right. So we've taken a mark, or we've got a hand pass from one of our teammates. We're not quite in front of the goals, are we? So things are going to be a little bit more difficult if we try and kick a normal kick. So let's try something a little different. We're going to hold the ball on the ends like this, like on an angle. And we're going to try and kick it on the end of the footy, which makes it spin over itself and goes sideways. Let's see if Ozzy can do it. That's a goal! It's another six points. Go, Aussie. Oh, good kick. Yes. This is a good kick to kick. So, kids, I hope you've had lots of fun down here at the park with Aussie learning how to kick how to handball and how to mark. Let's see if we can kick the final goal. And we'll see you again down here soon with Aussie. Cheers, kids. Yeah, it's a goal! Aussie, 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 Aussie! Aussie, 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 boy. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So we've learned a little bit about AFL, the different rules. We've been down to the park. We've had a kick of the footy together. Now let's sit back and relax and enjoy a good book about footy. This one is called Jackson's Footy. And it's about a little boy named Jackson who just loves his footy and takes it everywhere with him. It's by Dwayne Russell. When Jackson woke on Sunday morning, there was his footy. Can you see it? There it is. He snuggled up with it in bed. So you've got to help me throughout the book on every single page to find Jackson's footy. Look closely, it's there. 
when Jackson and his sister Chrissy helped their mum Holly cook breakfast, there was Jackson's footy. Do you find it? There it is under the table. And the puppy dog's giving it a hug. As they hung out the washing together, there was his footy. There it is. Jackson's in the washing basket playing with it. When everybody gathered to wash smelly old Oscar, the dog, there was his footy. Look, hiding underneath the towel. On Monday, when they picked up Chrissy from school, there was Jackson's footy. Do you find it? There it is outside. The kids are playing with it. And what do we have hanging up inside the classroom here? That looks like all the different mascots from the AFL teams, doesn't it? Can you spot yours? I love the West Coast Eagles. So there he is. There's the eagle up there. On Tuesday morning when Grandma took Jackson shopping, there was his footy. Look, over there in the window. At lunchtime, when Grandpa was driving Jackson home, he was sure he saw his footy. Look, it's over here in the other car. The other little boy's got a footy. On Wednesday at the playground, a big kid had hold of Jackson's footy. And look, he's not giving it back to the boys. I hope he's not being a bully. Nobody likes a bully, do they? On the television at the cafe, they were playing with Jackson's footy. Look over here. Everyone's sitting around watching and cheering. At the pet shop on Thursday, a little girl had his footy. Look, there she is over there. And she's got fairy wings and a ballerina skirt and footy socks and footy boots. How cool is that? On Friday afternoon, as Jackson rode along the riverbank with his dad, Alex, there they are. They're riding along down there. And look, what a beautiful day. And up in the clouds, it looks like AFL players playing footy, marking and kicking. It's pretty cool. Ah, there was his footy. And there was his footy. And there, and there, and there, and there. And there was his footy. Lots of people playing with the footy. When they stopped for an ice cream, everyone was laughing at Jackson's footy. Look, it's stuck up in the tree. Not fun when you get the ball stuck up in the tree, is it? On Saturday, the whole family was at the big game and thousands of fans cheered for Jackson's footy. Look, here it is. And the two AFL players are contesting for the ball. But early on Sunday morning, when a happy Jackson woke, there was his footy, down here, on the ground next to his bed. And look who's in his bed, Oscar the dog. What a great book. Did you find the ball on every page? Thanks so much for your help. I hope you really enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon on the next video with Ozzy. Until then, stay keen. I hope you enjoyed story time with Ozzy. If you did, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. And did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Make sure you look really closely because they're in every single video. And we'll see you again soon. Until then, stay keen. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Don't forget to follow Aussie on our social channels at Aussie for Kids. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you want to learn about next. What sports you'd like to play? 
jobs you want Aussie to feature, vehicles you're fascinated with, or any subjects you'd like to know more about. I'm just as keen as you, so together, let's learn more. And if you've got any friends that you think might like Aussie, don't forget to tell them too. See you next time, kids. Until then, stay keen. Mm -hmm.